Philippe Clement is in a tough spot here at Rangers. The end of the transfer window is shaking up the team much more than expected. Today, we'll talk about more reinforcements and some potential unexpected exits. Here are the stories for today. Rangers eye double transfer rate of a Champions League club as a 7 million pounds rated target admits huge frustration. Exclusive, Rangers and Wolves in talks to sign Sebastian Lockhead. Matondo destined for exit, Hagi's dad breaks silence and door opens for a 1.7 million pounds bargain. Contact made. Rangers move to sign a 34,000 pounds a week attacker for Clement. Domagoj Bradaric available at a discount as 2.5 million pounds Rangers transfer news is shared. All right, mate, let's break down this latest bit of transfer news swirling around Rangers. It seems Rangers have been eyeing up a double swoop on Benfica with Thiago Gouveia and Martim Nato as the targets. But as is often the case with our beloved club, things aren't as straightforward as we'd like them to be. So here's the situation. Rangers are still in that tricky sell-to-buy mode, meaning we've got to offload some players before we can bring in new faces. Despite that, rumors are flying, and the latest from Portugal suggests we've got our sights set on Gouveia and Nato. Gouveia, a versatile winger, is valued at around £7 million and has interest from clubs in Russia and France. But here's the kicker. Benfica won't let him go unless they find a replacement. And Gouveia himself has admitted his frustration, saying, I'm here every day waiting for opportunities. Sometimes it doesn't happen and the frustration is huge. On the other hand, Martim Nato, a deep-lying midfielder, is also on Rangers' radar, with Portuguese clubs Gil Vicente and Ferenci sniffing around too. With the likes of John Lundstrom and Ryan Jack having moved on, Nato could be a solid addition to the midfield, especially with Connor Barron showing promise since his move from Aberdeen. But just when you think things might be going our way, it looks like we've hit a snag. Benfica's recent move to sell David Neres to Napoli for a whopping 25.5 million pounds means Gouveia might now be needed to fill that gap, making his exit from the club less likely. And as if that wasn't enough of a blow, we've also missed out on Abdallah Sima, who's off to Brest on loan, despite our best efforts. So here we are back at square one in our hunt for a new left winger. With time running out and a bloated wage bill to trim, it looks like we might have to shift our focus to other targets. It's clear that getting the reinforcements we need before the window shuts is going to be a real challenge. It's been a frustrating time for us, but let's hope the club can pull something out of the bag in the final days of the transfer window. It looks like Rangers are in the thick of it, battling with the likes of Wolves, Fulham, Burnley and Norwich to sign Dundee's teenage sensation, Sebastian Lockhead. The lad's only 16, but he's already turning heads across the UK. And it's no surprise why, he's being touted as one of the best young talents to emerge from Scotland in recent years. So here's the scoop. Lockhead hasn't even made a senior appearance for Dundee yet, but he's been on the bench for all three of their games this season and has already featured twice for their reserve side. That's pretty impressive for someone his age. Clubs are lining up to get his signature, with everyone seeing him as a potential future star. The idea is to tie him down to his first professional contract as soon as he turns 17. For Rangers, landing Lockhead could be a massive coup, especially in their ongoing battle to wrestle the Scottish Premier League title away from Celtic. If they can secure one of Scotland's brightest young talents, it could be a step in the right direction to loosen Celtic's grip on the top spot. It's still early days with discussions ongoing, but this is definitely one to keep an eye on. If Rangers can win the race for Lockhead's signature, it could be a real statement of intent as they look to build for the future. Fingers crossed, eh? Let's talk about what's happening with Rabbi Matondo. Looks like he's on his way out of Rangers and heading to Blackburn Rovers, according to the Daily Mail. After being linked with Leeds United earlier in the summer, it seems that ship has sailed, with Leeds now eyeing up Largi Ramazani instead. So all signs point to Matondo making a move to the championship with Blackburn. Now, if we're being honest, Matondo's time at Rangers hasn't exactly set the world on fire. He's had over 60 appearances, but only managed to find the back of the net six times. That's just not cutting it for a club that's trying to close the gap on Celtic. Sure, he had his moment of glory in that 3-3 old firm draw, but those flashes have been too few and far between. With new talents like Ross McCausland emerging and the signing of Václav Cerny, Matondo's chances under Felipe Clement are looking pretty slim. 
It's no surprise then that the club's ready to move him on as they continue their summer clearout. And speaking of clearouts, it's not just Matondo on the move. Giannis Haji also looks set to leave, despite his dad, Gheorghe Haji, advising against a return to Romania. Rapid Bucharest might be keen, but it seems Haji Jr. is being pushed to consider staying abroad instead. After a bit of a mixed start to the Premiership, with four points out of six and the disappointment of missing out on the Champions League, it's clear Rangers are aiming to make this a campaign of improvement. The goal, as always, is to knock Celtic off their perch. Now, there's been some serious movement on the transfer front. It turns out Serial Desaires, who's been key for us, almost packed his bags for MLS side Atlanta United. According to reporter Luca Bendoni, Rangers were deep in talks with Atlanta over a deal worth $6 million, about 4.6 million pounds. The deal was pretty much ready to go, but Desers decided he wasn't up for the move to the States, so he's staying put for now. That's good news for us, considering he bagged 16 goals in 35 league appearances last season and has already started this season on a high note. But the real kicker here is that Rangers aren't done in the transfer market. Word from Italy via Viola News and Sport Witness is that we're eyeing up Josip Bracalo from Fiorentina. The Croatian international, who's earned 35 caps for his country, is reportedly available for transfer. Bracalo spent the second half of last season on loan at Hajduk Split, but he's not in the first choice plans at Fiorentina under their new manager, Raffaele Palladino. Despite getting some preseason opportunities, Bracalo is apparently far away in the pecking order, which has opened the door for other clubs to come knocking, Rangers included. While the negotiations are still in the early stages and an offer hasn't been made yet, Brecalo could potentially be a big signing for us. However, there's a bit of a catch. He's on a hefty wage, pulling in 34,000 pounds a week, so bringing him to Rangers would make him one of our top earners. All in all, it's shaping up to be a busy end to the transfer window for Rangers. Clement's clearly not sitting back, and if we can pull off the Brecalo deal, it could be a real boost to our attacking options as we push for success this season. It seems that Rangers have a real opportunity on their hands with the potential signing of Demagoj Bradaric from Salernitana. Initially, the Italian club were asking for 4.2 million pounds, but now, with the transfer deadline looming, they've slashed that price down to 1.7 million pounds, a massive 2.5 million pound discount. Clearly, they're eager to offload him, whether it's due to financial pressures or just needing to clear out some space in the squad. Now this puts Rangers in a strong negotiating position. With Salernitana keen to sell, Rangers can push for an even more favorable deal. We could start by playing up our own financial limitations, maybe suggesting that even 1.7 million pounds is a bit steep. Perhaps we could negotiate for an even lower fee or structure the payments with performance-based add-ons, which could make the deal more palatable for both sides. And here's a thought. While Salernitana prefer a permanent transfer, Rangers might propose a loan deal with an option to buy. We could link the final purchase price to Bradaric's performance or the team's success, giving us some flexibility and possibly sweetening the deal for Salernitana. With Ridvan Yilmaz's injury history and the need for depth in the squad, especially on the left side, bringing in Bradaric could be a smart move. Plus, if Jefte is being used further up the pitch, having a reliable left back becomes even more crucial. So, it looks like this could be a deal that works out well for everyone, if Rangers play their cards right. I'll be back with more bombastic and exclusive Rangers news at any moment. If you don't want to miss any, just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, alright? We are the people.